Oh, Yoshi is kind of haunting on this screen. I don't know why. His eyes just staring directly at you. All good? All right, good. So this is the Yoshi's Island DLC from the Wii U version, except in beautiful HD. You want to grab as many eggs as possible and take them to the end of the stage for reasons that you will see later. This is probably one of the only parts of Sonic Lost World I actually enjoyed. That and the Zelda DLC. Let me turn down the music a little bit, but this music is so good. Uh, let me incorrectly click several different buttons. Okay. Dude, I can never tell which option is highlighted. I'm so bad at paying attention. So the visuals in this were all based on Yoshi's story, which is an interesting choice. I wonder if Nintendo was like, this is the only thing you can use, or if, like, Sega specifically chose the Yoshi story aesthetic for this. HD Yoshi story? I feel like it would lose some charm, but, like, I mean, it'd be fine. They still have one of the most pathetic boss fights in the entire world in that game, though. That's, um... What is it called? It's, it's like the first one. Cloud and Candy, I think his name is? Is that what I'm thinking of? Follow me. Uh, also, one thing, though, I have to say, in 2D, usually I think Sonic Lost World controls really horribly, but in this stage, for some reason, I feel like it controls a lot better. And I don't know if it's because maybe this stage was designed better around Sonic's controls, or if it was because it was designed without speed in mind. Like, you kind of want to take your time here. Uh, the PC port's pause menu does look kind of confusing for highlighting. And I'm glad that it's not just me. But I mean, if you take a second, like if I'm streaming, my brain is split across so many different things. And I feel like, you know, because right in the middle of the sentence, I started thinking, hey, that background looks like pants. And I completely forgot what I was talking about. I, I'm just trying to like, you know, stream and be all... Uh, entertaining, I guess you could say. And it, it, sometimes it works, but most of the time I, I feel like I come off as super scatterbrained. Which I am. I am that. So... I guess I was right? I don't know, man. Look at all these coins. Are there red coins hidden here, like in Yoshi's Island, or is it just all regular coins? Please. Sega Europe changed the pause menu. Instead of keeping the original art style, add new menu options in the PC port. I guess they gotta do something for the PC port. It works somewhat. I remember back when they announced Sonic Lost World was coming to PC and I was like, why? Why are they doing that? <laughs> What's the point? The only collectibles are the flowers. Okay. For some reason, I like, I'm like Mandela effect, like, remembering red coins in this level when they're not. Oh, that was sneaky. I missed one. I'm going back. It's very weird to see a loop-to-loop -loop in a Yoshi game. I've already been in there, I just got out of there. Keep some of these eggs with me because I lost all mine. Where is that flower I missed? There's probably another pipe somewhere, maybe? Really. Uh, maybe- uh, oh, up here, maybe? Nope, I've been here. Oh, there it is. I will successfully get the 1-up. If it even gives a 1-up. Oh, it just increases the, the- the ring at the end, right? The goal ring, like- like in Yoshi's Island. Again, like, this is a weird fusion of Yoshi Story and Yoshi's Island. I think we're coming up on the end, though. But we can get more eggs. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> I foresaw that not connecting. Look at all these guys! Oh, wow. That was a lot of extra lives. I didn't realize that's what that did. Alright, that's Yoshi's Island Zone. God, I love that. Uh, Alright, now Zelda Zone. 
or Skyward Sword Zone, whatever it's called. It's probably just called Legend of Zelda Zone. And that will reappear with 100,000 points scored, but there is also something in the mod loader, I believe, that changes that so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't happen. You can just keep playing them one after the other. Okay. You sure we're discard? No. What? I have too many items. I never used this feature, like, even one time, playing the regular game. That and, like, the RC things for Tails, I don't think I ever used them. I mean, a 60-page document just in the Yoshi DLC restoration. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Now we have a big, wide-open area to run around in, which Sonic Lost World doesn't let you do very much. And you can feel that if this game was more open-world like this, it probably would have been more interesting. But our goal here is to look around for secrets. And... And, uh... Discuss our own mortality, I guess. And there he is, the man in charge. Aren't I supposed to do like a like a spin dash on the wall and go up that, or am I wrong? Oh, let me do it a hundred more times to see. Okay, it's because I was spin dashing already, I guess. Hey, Link from Legend of Zelda. I hope you don't mind that I've stolen your look. I'm gonna say it looks more open zone. As if everyone talking about, uh, what do you call it? Sonic Frontiers. It's not open world, it's open zone! You also have a custom, like, health system in this level, which is kind of crazy they went through that much detail for this stage. And also kudos to, you know, recreating this for the PC port. <laughs> now this, I believe, this is a, uh, a little Easter egg here. You can, uh, open up the little... How do you open up the little... shitty wisp menu? I heard. So just like in Zelda, uh, we're gonna listen to the Back at the Barnyard theme song from Nickelodeon. And then, the Gossip Stone doesn't quite like exploding. So off it goes. <laughs> Was that in the original? Uh, game 2, was that in Lost World, if you use the Bomb Wisp? Man, free cam would have been very nice for this session. <laughs> I should have put that up. It was in the original version of the DLC. I never would have known. I just remember hearing about that when... I forget who was streaming, was it... Was it Jess who was streaming this, or was it... I forget who I was watching stream this before. Uh, but we saw that cool little Easter egg there. I think the rupees will just get me extra health, or extra lives by the end of this, too. Oh shit. Stealthos! And here we go, we wanna do the Zelda thing. that cool we actually get an extra heart from that too <laughs> it's just it's so novel you know it's a nice little thing and we have some cuckoos over here that we can attack and it causes a bit of a ruckus <laughs> as you might expect from Zelda you just eliminate these chickens I don't know why I would want to do that but All right, so there's a bomb enemy right there we need to kick or I think we can use the bomb wisp there. I think we have this too. Hold on. Purple rupee though. How much is that worth? That's funny. I've, been, I've actually been playing Skyward Sword HD lately, so seeing Skyward Sword Link in this is actually kind of weird. But that game has a serious problem with like, like hiding secret treasures and stuff. Like, in most Zelda games I've played, you know, if you go out of your way and you find, like, a treasure chest, you're probably gonna find something cool, like a piece of heart or whatever. But in Zelda Skyward Sword, you start with so many heart containers already that they just don't have very many pieces of heart in the game. So whenever I go find a cool treasure chest and feel fun and, like, happy that I found some new thing, some secret, it just ends up being, like, a little craftable item thing that I, I don't end up really using. So that's like the, 
one part of Skyward Sword I'm not liking so far. The other part is that the uh, the desert level is fucking atrocious. I fucking hated going through that. Like, learning where all of the, uh, the uh, switches to turn... I don't even know how to describe this. It's like... It's this interesting gimmick where... You don't travel between the future and past. Sonic was eradicated from this plane. Did you see that? He's fucking gone. Uh... What was I saying? See what I mean? This is what I was talking about earlier. It was like, one thing happens and I have no memory of the last 12 seconds. <laughs> like, I'd be, I'd be amazed if I remembered. Um, you're gonna hate another part of Skyward Sword, but it'll figure it out what that is. I'm still in the desert area. I think I just beat the temple and uh, Girahim shows up and he's like, I'm going to kill you, Link. And then I, like, looked away because I was watching a video and Girahim was gone, and I didn't have a boss fight with him. <laughs> like, I thought he was gonna do a boss fight again, but he just he just didn't do anything. I'm gonna get you, Link! I'm gonna get you this time! Oh, but, oh shit, but I forgot it's time for me to uh, go take a nap real quick. I also see now at the top of the screen that the, the rupees are gonna turn into flickies. Once I'm done with this. I forgot that Sonic Lost World had a flicky requirement. That shit was kind of wild, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, thank you, Gorons. Very cool. But you know what you don't have that I do? The entire fucking Triforce. <laughs> Link, Zelda, and Ganon get one piece. Sonic gets the entire thing. And he wishes for a mountain of handkerchiefs. And that's Sonic Lost World DLC Restoration. Uh, Death, I don't know why, like, like, I'm glad you did this. I'm glad you made this, because it's really cool. But, like, I, I kind of wish Sonic Lost World modding popped off, you know? Like, it kind of just died off, but it's just really cool to see these things in here. This is, like, a really impressive feat. I, <laughs> I really want to just keep playing this, because the remix is so good. And I love the visuals. Triforce percent <laughs> in Lost World. It involves claiming the Triforce for yourself. Bam. Like, it's just, this is so well designed, dude. I wonder if a different team made these levels than the original game. I want to get, like, a bunch of these eggs to the end. It'll be quick this time, because I know what I'm doing. I'm not- Oh no, all my eggs! Alright, fuck it, never mind. I'm done. Uh, not with the stream, though, because we still have, uh, another hour. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, uh... Sonic Lost World DLC Restoration, amazing. Honestly, Lost World has an endless sea of potential, which has not been explored yet. Just this alone made it possible to have fully custom objects in the game, so you can add anything. I didn't think of it that way. That's actually really exciting. Also, this was made by the OG team that did the... Uh, the OG team did make the DLCs. In fact, Izuka said the Zelda DLC took th three months. Wow. That's crazy, and it took you under a year to recreate it. Well, that's amazing, dude. I really do hope to see more cool stuff happening with this game, because... I feel like mods will make it a lot more fun to play overall.